So here's the diagram of, of the Puma method. And as you can see, there, there are those loops with, with the yellow boxes that it's, it's an iterative method. And, and it's kind of small and, and not that easy to see here on the screen. But in the attached material, there, there is a, a full page handout with, with, the, um, with the diagram in it. So you can follow along there. And so we have these iteration loops where basically we, we first look at the things that are, are easy and inexpensive to, 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 to use to try to tweak the measuring process and the uncertainty. And then as, as the loops get bigger and bigger, then it, it's more and more involved and it gets more and more expensive to make those corrections. So, and so the idea is that we try to do the, the least expensive first and see if that can get us to our goal so we can avoid doing the, the more comprehensive uh, corrections that we might otherwise have to resort to. So that's the overall idea in the Puma method and this is the, the diagram that describes it. And in the following, we're going to zoom in on various parts of it and talk about what happens in those particular iteration loops that, that, that we, we see.